Hi, my name is Hao Chen from the University of Massachusetts Amherst. I am a food scientist who randomly take a lot of different pictures. So photography is my second hobby, but uh, of course the most important thing in my life currently is as a, a food researcher. So I finished my undergrad program in Beijing Technology and Business Universities in China and um, after that I traveled here in the States for my graduate and PhD program. I've studied both these programs in UMass Amherst and uh, my current project is using one analytical tool which is called Raman spectroscopy to detect and analyze the colorants in our food system. So why color is that important? It's pretty straightforward. Every time we go to the supermarket we see something and the color is basically the first thing we see. So the quality of color and uh, its brightness, its color stability are very important factors in which a food industry will consider and value. So uh, why Raman spectroscopy? Raman spectroscopy will generate different fingerprint spectra for each analyte. By comparing these spectrums, we can easily differentiate different colorants. So to understand or to know why or how it works, you can watch my later video. And talking about this video, I'm very excited to make this video because it's very important to make these easily understandable videos talking about introducing what we're doing and what the food science what food science research is doing. The two that I use to create this video are shown here is this picture. So from here you can see this is my mirrorless camera and which is also recording me right now. And uh, this lens, this very long lens, is a macro lens. So what it does is it can do something like this. It can probe into a very narrow opening and creates things that we, we usually cannot achieve with some other normal lens. So this enables me to, to put the lens in, for example, the Raman instrument and some tubes or some beakers to create these effects, which is pretty cool. And why I think this is important is because a lot of times what we do is a very normal video or like video not that interesting. So a lot of people is not attracted by this. But in fact, chemistry, especially dealing with colors, like when you see those colors spread or when you see different characters of color in food, it is very interesting. Chemistry in all is very interesting. So that's basically the rationale that I decided to make this video. To make this video interesting and cool to broad audiences. Yeah, so let, let's go back to where we were. Talking about research, why I think doing this research is so interesting is because I think safety is the most important thing. Sure, the innovation is important. The ability to create new innovative food always excites me. But safety and quality should be always the first priority when it comes to food product. I would like to put innovation in a detection method. Like uh, we, we all know we have a lot of traditional detection methods like HPLC or like uh, ICP mass. Those are golden standards in a lot of the food science industries. But being able to do a rapid detection saying on an assembly line, continuously, non-stop. We can use Raman spectroscopy. We can use the laser to fast screening different samples. And uh, just on the production line, thinking about that. So I think that makes me very excited. So the, the ability to, to detect or know what's inside a food instantly or rapidly makes me so excited. And our lab has been working on that for a long period of time. If Campton BRI is watching, which definitely you are, please, if you would like, contact us. And we're very excited to collaborate with industries. Alright, I think that will be all for my introductions. Bye for now.